Good morning. Today we're here at Dollar General. We're going to go ahead and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Yeah, since we come into Dollar General here, I wanted to check out some of the shelf stable items, things that we can use to cook at home. Different flour, yes, gold medal flour has gone up here too. $4.50, that's the same price as it is everywhere. They do have the Clover Valley self-rising flour here for $2.80. They've got their salt here for $0.95. Cents. I don't see where the Mortons, they don't have a set place here for it. Um, let's see, we got their spices here. A lot of the spices are still a dollar here at Dollar General. That's good to see. Um, now, they don't have like the selection of, of most stores, but good to see. They do have some other options here, too. They have some of the Bisquick pancake mix here. Let's see what size that is. Is that the 29? Uh, no, that's the 40 ounce. 40 ounce, 550. 40 ounce is pretty much everywhere else, right around $5. So, um, again, you know, it's more of a convenience store than a, uh, you know, dollar store anymore, I guess, if you want to call it that. They do have some of the Splenda baking. Uh, tastes like sugar. That's what it says. Two dollars and seventy-five cents for that. Let's see, they got the little Crisco shortening here. It's a very small can of it for four fifty. One pound. One pound. You got some cooking oil here. Still five fifty for the vegetable oil Crisco, which you know six forty-nine at Kroger. Uh, looks like some of theirs has gone up here too. Vegetable oil. Okay, that's three sixty-five for Clover Valley. That's in the wrong place. That would be the Crisco canola oil, which they don't have. They do have the big containers of the vegetable oil for $8.40. Check out some of the canned fruits here. They do have these snack packs here. $1.35 though. Jeez, I mean this stuff keeps going up. I remember this one of the last places I saw them for a dollar though, to be fair. Uh, they're $1.25 usually at Kroger. Uh, crushed pineapple, $1.75 for their version. That's up from $1.50. $2.50 for the pineapple slices of Dole. Couple things here. Got some raisins, Clover Valley raisins down there for two dollars. One thing I can say at Dollar General, you always want to check like the different sales. Like they'll literally have sales on each item, like these family size boxes of frosted flakes, two for two for eight dollars, making them four dollars a box. I mean, this is the regular regular price of a regular size box at Kroger is three ninety nine. So you get the family size here. Uh, when you get that deal, four seventy five regular price. Though, if you don't do the two for eight, so you really got to pay attention to some of these things like Raisin Bran. The sixteen point six ounce box of Kellogg's Raisin Bran is now five dollars and twenty nine cents at Kroger, three dollars and fifty cents regular price here. So, wow, like almost two dollars less here at Dollar General. Two for six though, so you can get two boxes, three dollars a piece. Now, if you're looking at some coffee options to stock up on, I know these prices look cheaper at first, $9.25, but these are smaller canisters than what you're going to get at Kroger or any major grocery store. These are only 19.2 ounces. Now, for the classic roast at Kroger, it's $11.49 regular price, but you get 25.9 ounces. Um, now, these are the same size Maxwell House here. Uh, 25.6 ounces for 10.20, 10.99 at Kroger. Well, the last time I was at this Dollar General, it was pretty packed with stuff, but now not so much. It is uh, getting pretty cleaned out. I will say Pringles are still two dollars here. This is something where you definitely want to like take a picture of the price, though, um, just in case they happen to go up. They, you know, at least around here, they'll give it to you for what's on the shelf price. These are $2.59 a can at Kroger now, which is ridiculous. $2 here. Check out some of the refrigerated items here. They have their Clover Valley Butter, which we've actually gotten decent comments on. However, it is $4.75 now. Um, used to be $3.75. They've got the Crescent or the Pillsbury Grands, $3.75. Yeah, some of this stuff's going to be a lot more expensive here. Milk is pretty wiped out here. Um, Aris has it for $3 a gallon. This is the Clover Valley. Um, they do have the lactose-free down here, Clover Valley. Some people were asking about it. It is uh, $3. They have their different Clover Valley cheese here. Sliced cheese for 
we have started calling some of these dollar stores more convenience stores now than dollar stores because a lot of the stuff is a lot more expensive than it used to be um, these kind of items are gonna always usually be more than most grocery stores unless you're called Dollar Tree but they sell things obviously that Dollar Tree doesn't sell like Rally's fries uh, 575 for those though I don't know we've been seeing frozen potato products go way up in price See stuff like this. Look at this. Stouffer's. <laughs> These little Stouffer's meals here for $5. That is way too much. Red Baron pizza for $5.50 at a convenience store. I don't feel it's too bad. However, $8.50 for a DiGiorno. It's a little pricey. Let's check out some shelf stable items here. They do have at a regular price for $1.15 in the Starkist. These were $1. Finding a lot of price increases here today um, from what they were the last time. Uh, they do have the Starkist. They are $1.50. These ones for a dollar, I believe, are Clover Valley brand, which we have gotten some decent comments on these. Uh, but we've been seeing a lot of the Starkist tuna creations go for a dollar uh, in a lot of stores around the country. Something you can stock up on. Um, definitely got some. Oh, well, they got some of these here, 95 cents. This is the Mercantile Fancy just like Tuna in Water. 95 cents? I don't know. Always go with what you know if, you don't, if you're not sure. They do have the Denty Moore Beef Stew, 20 ounces. This is up from 275. This was 275, now it's 345. Uh, we've been seeing these go up pretty much everywhere though. Hormel Chili with Beans has gone up to 225, guys. It, you know, we're definitely seeing it. This was one of the things that people have been asking about, I wanted to point out here. It was $1.75 before, $2.25 now. Don't know much about Clover Valley products. Uh, we get kind of mixed reviews on them. Let me know down in the comments if this chili with beans is any good. It's $2, so you're only saving a quarter here. But uh, we do notice that the SpaghettiOs went up in price. These were $1.35 a can the last time we were here, $1.50. But I've been seeing those go up everywhere. Still $1.35 for the Chef Boyardee. They sell the Bumblebee packets here. Or the bumblebee uh, like tuna well they don't have the tuna but they got the chicken salad and the buffalo style 225 here these were two dollars now if you get the brunswick which is made by bumblebee at dollar tree those are a dollar 25 same exact thing same size three ounces also we have the premium white chuck chicken breast up here for four dollars about the same price as it is everywhere now except for kroger 5.99 which is insane do have the uh, Kreider white chicken here, two ninety five. Got mixed reviews on this. You can get the two pack here for five fifty. Another good thing to stock up on that you know adds to an extra meal is macaroni and cheese. We've been getting flooded with comments on macaroni and cheese lately. Um, Four dollars for Velveeta and Kraft here, but they're three seventy nine in the major grocery stores now. Two pack here, six dollars. So it's like you're spending an extra two dollars to get a whole extra box. That's a good deal. I guess part of my point of coming to some of these dollar stores is that, you know, if you really want to stock up and save, these really aren't the places to come to a lot unless you're able to work the digital coupons and stuff like that to save extra money. But with everything going up, I don't know. I feel like we'll always find more sales at like Meyer, Kroger, even Publix. You know, I mean, I, <laughs> if you're talking downside, look, these went up here too. Dollar forty. These were a dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five for rice and roni. These are both okay. Pasta roni, dollar thirty-five. Uh, I don't know why. Must, maybe that came down a nickel. I don't know. Dollar forty for these though, and then they have the chunk. See another thing that we've been seeing go up in price everywhere. This may be something you want to take a picture of. Two dollars and fifteen cents still for these. I mean, if it is that price, it's a good regular price. We have a lot of viewers that shop at Dollar General, though. And if I accidentally say Dollar Tree, I mean Dollar General. I get them confused sometimes. But um, I know that some people, you know, this is, in some towns, this is the only store you have. So we like to come here just for those reasons. Um, let's see, is that a six-pack for $1.25? Five-pack. Well, that's a good deal. That's the same as uh, Dollar Tree there. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. Six-pack is $2 now at Kroger, so way better deal. 
They do have the Chow Main here, which we do get comments on from time to time. $1.35 here. They do have these from time to time at Dollar Tree. Most places we've been finding these for $1.50, so a little bit of a better deal here. Let's get into some of the canned goods. Also, the meat flavor ravi or, uh, ramen noodles is $1.25 here also. Five pack. So they have the Rotel green chilies here. Um, diced tomatoes and green chilies for $1.50 a can. That's probably the most expensive I've seen in anywhere. They do have their version, though, for a dollar. I do like how they put them next to each other so you can see, you know, this one's 50 cents cheaper. Don't know if it's better. One thing we like to stock up on when we find it for this price, uh, van camps. We've noticed these have been going up in the grocery stores. I've seen them as high as a dollar twenty-nine, dollar here still. Um, do want to make sure you check the expiration dates on everything, anywhere you go, not just here. Now I will say they have a lot of these Del Monte canned goods here. Whole kernel corn, one dollar on sale for a dollar. Well, I mean I say sale. It looks like it's a regular price. Again, something I would definitely take a picture of. Make sure you get it for that price. The Clover Valley ones, um, 85 cents. I haven't tried any Clover Valley um, vegetables, canned vegetables. We've got mixed reviews. Let me know that in the comments if you use Clover Valley vegetables and if they are good. Um, yeah, I, I, for 15 cents more, I would go with Del Monte. But to be fair, never tried any of these, so I really don't know. Seeing for a value store, you know, this is two pounds of spaghetti, Clover Valley, which we've actually gotten good comments on, but it is $2.25, making it over a dollar a pound, which is more than what most store brands are going to cost. So another item, and, th and this used to be $2, I guess it did go up to $2.25, so they're one pound, and this is the funny thing, this is their one pound for one dollar, so I don't know if they just keep the one pounds for a dollar, but if you get two pounds, it's two twenty five. so you you'd be better off buying two of these, that's probably why they're wiped out on them. We got a comment on egg noodles. They do have their Clover Valley here. Now, this is only 12 ounces, not the 16. This is 12 ounces for $2. My favorite salsa continues to go up everywhere. These used to be $2 here. As a matter of fact, this is where I would buy these uh, when I saw them go up to like $2.25 in other stores. Now, it's on par pretty much with everywhere else. $3.50 for the bigger one. This used to be $3. So, you know, everything keeps going up, guys. We do sell the La Castaña, Castaña jalapenos here. Got some good comments on these. $1.75 for the small can, the big can. Uh, 25 ounces? Is that what that is? Well, I'll be. 26 ounces? Why is that the same price? Interesting. Something that always goes a long way with all these high price increases. If you're looking to really stretch your dollar, peanut butter guys makes a lot of sandwiches. Uh, it's one of our favorite right here, Peter Pan. Um, ever since that last recall, we still have not bought Jif peanut butter. Um, Four seventy-five here for twenty-eight ounces. Um, here's the Welch's grape jelly. Somebody was asking about that. Three dollars here. Um, as a matter of fact. Well, let's see. Okay, so Clover Valley Pita Butter is two dollars. Peter Pan two sixty five. Um, we're like out of it, so I'm gonna have to buy this. Let's check the date. Make sure we got a little while. Best by whoa. Best by January seventh, twenty twenty four. Yeah, so we got a while on this one. It's good. I got a couple comments on Worcestershire sauce the other day. They have the Lee and Perrins here, uh, Worcestershire sauce. Uh, got good comments on that. That is five ounces for $3. A little bit of a bigger one here. Never tried this one, though. This one's 10 ounces, though, for the Clover Valley. Again, any Clover... What, what are some of your favorite Clover Valley products? Let us know down below. Um, really helps us out to kind of determine whether we would buy it or not. Uh, we take a lot of your guys' opinions seriously when we go shopping. Uh, next to the peanut butter here, they do have some of this almond butter. Uh, good, smart almond butter. You know, if you've tried that one. And we've seen Heinz ketchup go a little over $5 for the 38 ounces in some places. So $4.50, yeah. So, you know, it used to be $4 here. It's been a while since I checked. But I want to point out Hellman's here. We've been seeing this go for like $6.49 pretty much everywhere for the 30 ounces. $5.50 here. Looks like they have the Clubhouse crackers here that we've been seeing go for four dollars, three eighty-five. Wow. Okay, so that was three fifty the last time we were here. Um, a lot of this stuff is going up right along with everywhere else. Been a while since I've been to Dollar General. We've been getting all kinds of comments for me to come back. 
here we are. Um, you know, kinds of little snacky things. You know, I mean, what's nice about this, though, is Dollar General still sells things for a dollar, right? I mean, it's like, this is cheaper than Dollar Tree. So it's like, this is what they're doing to, to get people in here. Like, hey, we actually have some items for a dollar. Like all of these little candies here. I don't really eat much candy, but we get comments on these all the time. Uh, that they're only a dollar, and yeah, some of the stuff really ain't worth it. I mean, you get like a few, well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That's probably worth a dollar, considering you probably pay two dollars now for a regular candy bar in a grocery store. But yeah, it's nice to see that they sell some things for a dollar still. They do sell some bread. Um, funny, I usually never, usually it's wiped out when I come to Dollar General. Um, but they do have some of Nature's Own, and again, you do want to make sure... You're always looking at the little extra ways that you can save here at Dollar General. They have these little savings all over the place on many different items. Uh, this sandwich bread here, 24 ounces of butternut, $2.85. This was $2.50, um, but it did go up. But $3.49 for this at Kroger, so a little cheaper. More candy for a dollar. And these are name brand right here. Got the trolley and Twizzlers. I did just notice that the Hormel Completes meals went up to $2.65 here. We've been seeing these go up pretty much everywhere. Still, cheapest price on these, $2.24 at Walmart. Okay, uh, They were $2.35 here the last time I was here. It's been a while. It's been over a month. But we are. We're seeing price changes here at Dollar General uh, pretty much everywhere. It's like they're getting pretty wiped out on uh, paper towels here. Got the Scott six pack paper towel, six dollars and fifty cents. Sparkle ten pack. Ooh, I thought that was seven dollars. That's for that premium there, but this is twelve dollars and ninety five cents. Seems like most paper products, like toilet paper and paper towels, have just been like skyrocketing in price lately. We're seeing another another big increase uh, everywhere. Uh, five dollars for two brawny towels. I mean, I'm sure that's probably the same price as it is everywhere. But this stuff goes up so fast, guys, it's it's really hard to take a tally on it. But I always say, if you come to a store and you find uh, a lot of this stuff wiped out, you know, sometimes it might be, wor you know, worth looking into just because, you know, people are coming here to buy this stuff. What's the reason? You know, so, I mean, there's probably some decent prices. I know Charmin's gotten ridiculous in price pretty much everywhere. Uh, let's see. Quilted Northern, six-pack Mega Rolls. Uh, $10.50. Wow, that's crazy. Somebody asked if I would check storage containers. You know, we had a couple people that say, um, that have said that, you know, if you, if you don't have a yard or something, you know, you can always grow stuff indoors and, you know, you could use like these tubs to plant, you know, tomatoes or whatever, you know, I, I don't know if that... That's really a cheap price. This one looks cheaper here. You know, if you were to do something like that, you might want to get something a little sturdy. Those are $15. I know we can find those a little cheaper. They do have the cheaper ones back here, but no price on them. Um, but yeah, you know, I've always said that's a good idea. Um, I've used like big, huge flower pots to grow like cherry tomatoes and different things like that. Um, but yeah, you know, it's the more and more things get expensive. And go up in price, the more and more we need to start thinking of things like this. We have gotten more and more comments, even though we haven't had too much of an issue lately. More and more comments on cat food uh, kind of going out the door, uh, either low or out in a lot of stores. I will say, very low here. Um, they do have uh, one thing of nine lives here for 70 cents. 85 cents for Fresky. So yes, it is a little more expensive than uh, pretty much anywhere right now, but... They do have some dry cat food. This has been the issue as of late. They don't have hardly any of the cheaper ones, though. However, somebody did ask about the indoor Purina cat gel. They do have that here. Uh, $7.25 for that, and that is um, 3.15 pounds. They got a good amount of dog food here, too. For I mean, they've got two aisles here completely dedicated. One side's dog food, the other side's cat food different treats and stuff like that. Here's some puppy pads. 
Uh, we've gotten a couple comments on these over the last couple months. I know I somebody asked if I would check out at Sam's Club. Haven't got back to Sam's Club yet. I will try to remember the next time I go. But they have a lot of different chew toys, bones, stuff like this, you know, milk bones. That's, that's good to have. This particular Dollar General has a little clearance aisle, too, here. Um, let's see. Some... Some of this stuff doesn't have prices on it, though. Got that for seven twenty-five. Well, that actually feels like a lot of it's gone. <laughs> oh, they got some of these water wipes here. The world's purest baby wipes. Three dollars and fifty cents. I don't know. Some of this stuff seems a little pricey for being on clearance. Uh, lemon zesty scrub, five dollars and seventy cents. I don't know. Let me know down below if your Dollar General has a clearance rack and if these prices are pretty similar i really a lot of this stuff i don't know whether it's a good deal or not to be honest with you this uh studio selection delicate exfoliating body wash three dollars and 55 cents hmm. you can tell some people are buying dog food here too as we saw back in the cat food aisle i don't know if it's an issue with them getting it in or if people are just buying it up but a lot of these prices here uh dollar 95 for some of the uh, pedigree we've been seeing these go up to 219 in some stores they do have the gravy train uh for a dollar 15 and they got the purina one can still here for two dollars as far as the caesar packets go dollar 35 we've been seeing these go up in price too guys i mean yeah some of them are a dollar 60 like we've been seeing at kroger for the same price so they've changed some of them but i know it's like a couple different brands or a couple different kinds um, that's something where you may want to look like, you know, like a 12 count here for $15.95. It's going to save you a little bit. Nice that they have these little tools here, too. I like this little section. Got some paint brushes, you know, just little things you wouldn't think of. A little wrench set here. six fifty for that. Uh, Dollar General hardware. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know. four fifty for that tape measure. I don't... You know, some of this stuff, I feel, is going to be the same price pretty much everywhere else, but good to have. Hey, everybody needs flashlights. Those lights ever go out, uh, you're going to need something to see with. So I will say the same thing about Dollar General that I say about every store. When you find a sale, buy it up, because you don't know, for one, if it's going to be there the next time, and chances are that you do come the next time, it's going to be going up in price. I love Dollar General. Very nice people working here. Very friendly uh, it's always, you know, well put together. Jess loves Dollar General, too. Uh, more for a, lo a lot of the other little things, like um, if you're looking for, like, gardening tools and stuff. They have, like, random stuff everywhere. Uh, wanted to check on mostly the food, shelf-stable items that we can stock up on. Um, although prices have gone up here, a lot of it not as high as it's gone up in a lot of major grocery stores. So we need to pay attention to that stuff. All in all, good trip to Dollar General. Really like this place. Um, again, really nice people. Um, it's something that it's, it's a convenience store. You know, a lot of this stuff you can get cheaper, like especially when it comes to refrigerated items, frozen items. I, I did notice pop, soda pop, uh, is right about the same price as it is uh, in a lot of the other stores. But... Always read those little signs because you can find like two for 14 or three for, you know, just random different ones. It's like, it's like they're more singled out on items. Like you'll find sales on like Kellogg's and then different brands of cereal. Well, thank you all so much for watching the video today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, share our videos with your friends on your social media networks to help spread the word really helps us out a lot. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember, the adventure is out.